Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video, I am actually going to be recording my experience preparing for the arts and crafts show that you guys may or may not be aware of. Um, I posted up an Instagram post that I had officially gotten accepted into the arts and crafts show. So I am super excited, but I still have a lot of things to do as far as preparing. I'm a little bit behind because I ordered some things last minute, such as the paper, and it didn't come in until noon this afternoon. It just came in literally, so I have to really start moving in order to get these prints finished with also i don't i don't know how this happened but i didn't order enough paper i was originally supposed to print out 900 prints um that was my goal and but for some reason i only ordered about 600 so i may have to go to the store later on to get some more paper um but I'm gonna still, for the most part, print out some things. Um, I decided for this video that I was going to vlog my experience preparing for the arts and crafts show. Then Friday night, tomorrow, um, I am actually going to set up at the Aquaquan itself. Um, we're probably going to leave around 9, um, well actually no. We're probably gonna leave around 8 and then we'll be there at 9 o'clock at night and we'll set up everything the night before and then on Saturday we'll wake up super early for the arts and crafts show, maybe around 5, eat breakfast and then have the arts and crafts show. So um, how do I feel? Um, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous but I have, I have good feelings about it and um, I just hope that I can get everything ready in time and I just hope that it's gonna be a really nice day, there's gonna be nice weather and that people are going to come out. I'm actually going to start printing. Um, I do have to say the cellophane bags, which is the clear bags that my prints are going to be packed in, they haven't arrived yet. They're supposed to arrive by the end of this day, so I'll have all the prints printed out by then for sure. And then after that, um, it's just a matter of packing everything. I do need to figure out how in the world am I going to pack all these prints once they are printed out and packed. Um, because there's going to be roughly 600 and I need to figure out a way to transport them so I, I not only transport them but also to organize them so that it's easier to find and so um, yeah we're gonna have to do some improvising and for the most part I think I got it so let's go so the paper that I am going to be going with is the Canon Photo Paper Pro Luster and I decided to go with this one because I really liked how my colors appeared on the paper. I did try or I, I really wanted matte paper but for some reason the matte paper just didn't show the colors that I have for my prints very well so I decided that I would stick with this. I actually got a new printer. I knew that if I was going to be printing out um, multiple prints, especially anything over 100 prints, I knew I had to have a really really great printer and so far I have done a few test prints and I am really really happy with this purchase. It is on the pricey end but if you definitely are invested into your art career and you want to print Print, whether it's prints or photographs, whatever it may be, I definitely think this is a great printer for starters and for beginners. Um, it's so easy that I can do it and letting you guys know that I'm a beginner too. So um, this actually, um, I did receive a sample pack with the Canon printer and I tried it out and that's when I decided that yes, I do want this paper after all for my prints. So I went ahead and I ordered about 11, um, each come with 50 sheets. So now I am just going to go ahead and print everything out, get everything set up, and then hopefully during that time the packing slip bags or the cellophane bags will come in in time. That way I can not only print everything out, I'll have a pile of everything that's printed and then I can also start packing at the same time. So let's get started. So um, I'm going to first start off with the B and then I'm just going to work my way um, down to the tiger print. And since I didn't get the right amount of paper, I'm going to have to print less prints out for each animal and for each size because I'm offering two sizes, a five by seven and also eight and a half by 11 in addition to the posters, but the posters are separate. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start from the B and then work my way down. This is going to take a while, but while those 15 copies are printing, I really want to show you guys the town where the Arts and Crafts Show is going to be held. Oh.
Good morning, it is about 10 o'clock in the morning. It is Friday. I had a long evening yesterday. I stayed up till about two o'clock in the morning, printing out everything and cutting everything. And um, it was quite an experience. And I think the one thing that took a while was cutting the five by seven prints because I print two prints on one paper to save ink. Um, and cutting everything with the paper cutter that I have just took a little bit longer than I was expecting it to so when I get the chance I'm definitely going to invest in a higher quality paper cutter one with the blade so that I can cut multiple papers at the same time and it would definitely save me some time um, so that took me a long time and I just stayed up just packing everything and today I am finishing up the eight and a half by 11s I'm printing them out and then I'm also going to work on packing them and I'm hoping um, once those are finished, I have about eight more animals to print out for the eight and a half by 11s. Once that is finished, I am then going to print out the posters. But I didn't realize I was using a lot of magenta ink, um, but it kind of makes sense because I do use a lot of pink in my prints. And so I have to go to the store to get some more of the ink. And that's kind of going to be a little time consuming as well. But you know, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to do with the time that I have and um, Fortunately, I'm only printing two posters for the 13 by 19. That's the poster sizes. I'm only going to be printing out two just to see how well they sell. And um, then from there, we're going to pack everything up. Tonight, around 9 o'clock, we're going to go to Aquaquan where the Arts and Crafts Show is going to be held. And we are going to set up the tent and set up the table. And that way, we don't have to do it tomorrow morning. We can just put the merchandise on the table and then it'll just be a breeze from there. So. We're going to do that and I'm going to try to do my best to film every part of it. I do apologize if I haven't been able to film the whole process behind me preparing the prints, packing them, and printing them. Um, it can get kind of time consuming and sometimes I'm not always able to get the best clips of my work area because it's quite cluttered. These are the prints. Well, this is organized now, but before I organized everything, everything was spread out all over the floor. Um, and as you guys can see right here, to make it easier to find, I um, put I cut out pieces of paper, like cardboard paper, and I made them into dividers. And I just kind of labeled everything in alphabetical order: bee, butterfly, corgi, um, elephant, and so forth. And um, that's going to help me keep everything organized should I need to restock the table if some prints get sold out faster. Um, I still have some that I'm going to print out. I'm just going to see how many, uh, how much paper I have left to print out extras. I also have some miscellaneous prints that I want to print out, so I'm going to save some of the paper for that. And as for this bin, I'm going to use it for the 8.5 by 11. Um, and I do think they're going to fit in here. Yep. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm hoping all of them can fit in there if I kind of mesh them into there. Um... So yeah, I'm going to make everything work. And over here, this is all the cellophane bags that I was telling you guys about. Um, this is what I packed the prints in. I was going to get the 500 pack of both the 5x7 and the 8.5x11, but I just decided that the 1000 pack was probably going to be better because then I wouldn't have to constantly go shopping on Amazon for more and then waiting for shipping. So I just think that it's probably better to have more on hand just to kind of save some time. And over here, I have a mess. These little things are super, 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 oh my goodness, super annoying. <laughs> like they stick to your hands and you gotta constantly shake them off like that. And um, I found the trick that if you get a bunch of them in your hand and you just kind of shake them off, they all come to get off together. But um, <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to think of ways where I can get these little things off of everything because they stick to almost everything. As you guys can see, look at that. So, um, yeah, what the heck. So, I just got a notification that my order has shipped. So, is it gonna zoom in? So, I ordered a banner for my tent and I completely forgot about it. Oh, it's here! Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. What do you guys think? Is it nice? 
The whole thing was about $30, but I expedited it, so it came up to about $70, but it was totally worth it. It was really good, and the color came out so nice. Yes. Ooh. Oh, God. Pardon my video holding skills or camera holding skills. Yeah, it's quite pigmented. Yeah. I like it. It's 9 o'clock and we're here in Aquaquan, but the thing is that we have to wait until our space becomes available because some businesses are still open. So we're just waiting for our spot to become available. A car is currently there, so I don't know how long we're going to be waiting. Fortunately, it's not too hot outside and I don't think I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. Um, I'm kind of hungry, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we're going to set up the tent here and then we're going to go back home and I'm going to finish printing out some prints and um, then tomorrow's a big day. Right? That's my big. You want to show them where we're going to do this way. setup? So that is, the red car is where I need to go. <laughs> yeah. So when that red car leaves, we can go there. And um... Yeah, so we're just going to be waiting here and hopefully it won't be too long. That's right. Hey guys, um, so the arts and craft show was a success. I am now about to take everything down or at least put everything away because tomorrow we have to come back again. And um, I'm really happy with today. A lot of people showed up and a lot of people took interest in the art prints and it was just overall a very nice day to interact with people and to see their arts and crafts and it was just a really amazing experience. And I'm super happy that I came here because it was a wonderful experience and I learned a lot and saw many great things and it was just fun overall, um, mingling with people who are creative as well. So. <laughs> I am now just waiting on Miko. He's going to come back with the car and we're going to close up the tent. I'm going to leave everything here because we're coming back tomorrow, but um, I'm really tired. I'm super sweaty. It was really hot today. I don't know what tomorrow is going to be like. Hopefully it's going to be better, but um, yeah. It was a really fun day and I hope you guys enjoyed this um, day with me as well. And tomorrow I will definitely record again. So now I'm going to pack up. Good morning guys, um, so it is Tuesday morning, it's about 7 o'clock and um, I slept most of yesterday. Um, what happened when I came home Sunday afternoon? I know um, it started raining, it, we were packing everything down and um, we rushed home and we ate and then for the most part we just went to sleep and we chilled out for a bit. And then Monday, I went straight to work. I worked the morning shift. And then I went to sleep the rest of the day. I woke up around 10 o'clock at night. And I started browsing the internet. And then I went to sleep at 1 o'clock in the morning. So today, I'm going to get back into the routine of recording videos and just getting myself back on track. Um, and um, yeah, I want to share some thoughts with you guys about the arts and crafts show. It was an amazing experience, but first, before I do so, I want to get ready. I literally just woke up maybe a few minutes ago, so I want to get myself cleaned up. Let's get ready.
I thought it would be a great idea for me to share some tips or at least things that I learned from my first arts and crafts show in case you guys are interested. I know a lot of you, um, a lot of the people who follow me are into art themselves, so in case you're, you've been wondering what it's like to join an arts and crafts show or at least the process and preparing for one, sorry that was my phone. Um, in case you're wondering about the process of preparing for one, I can definitely shed some insight on what I went through, what I did to prepare for things and things that I learned throughout my two days of experience. Um, sorry, that's my phone again. Um, so the first thing is that it really helps to shop around when it comes to the art shows in your area. Some may be closer to you, some may be a little bit further out, and depending on the the overall population and depending on how popular those shows are and what they can offer you as far as exposure to your art, um, you really have to look into it to see what will best fit your interest and your art or whatever it is that you specialize in because you don't want to go to arts and crafts show and then find out that most of the people who go to those shows um, they're only interested in pottery and you specialize in art prints so it's it's great to get an idea as to what the people there are interested in and um, I'm really happy that I went with Aquacon because when I had a chance to browse around there I saw a lot of people were doing animal prints they were doing portraits of animals they were doing prints in general so I really was relieved to see that so it does it definitely pays off to get a good idea as to what the art show itself is offering you guys um, instead of jumping right into it. So definitely do your research. Um, I can link some some websites in the description below should you guys be interested in checking them out if you are in the United States. Um, they're, they helped me find some good shows in the area and I'm definitely starting to look for some shows for the fall and for the winter so that I can be prepared. Um, so that's my first tip and the second tip definitely has to prepare for everything a few months in advance. I did not do this and um, I highly recommend doing so because it just takes the stress off your shoulders. It doesn't, you don't have to rush in the end and I definitely was rushing throughout the whole process and um, it just would have helped make the transition a lot smoother sorry it would have helped make the transition a lot smoother if I had just prepared a few months before but instead I I really wasn't sure if I was going to get accepted into the show and so I waited a little bit before preparing my things and um, last minute they contacted me and they told me that I was accepted and so I just immediately started getting things together and um, in the end all the hard effort really paid off so if you're interested in joining an arts and crafts show I highly recommend preparing for it a few months in advance maybe three or four just so that you don't have to worry about anything else and you can just get yourself in a calm state of mind and just contemplate on how you want the show to go just to kind of have a more relaxed state before the show so that you're not really anxious in case it is your first show like it was for me so definitely prepare a few months in advance if you can my third tip definitely has to be um, when you start setting it, everything up it, it's really great to have a person with you who can support you throughout the process in case you are a first time um, vendor or exhibitor vendor is more appropriate um, I had my boyfriend with me the whole time and he was really supportive and there were times where I just felt so frustrated not at him but mostly because I was worried that I wasn't going to be setting up in time like I said it really helps to just always have someone there who can help calm you down and just to remind you to take it easy and just go with the flow of things the first day for me really was kind of like the eye-opener of everything I learned a lot on my first day there and um, had it not been for my boyfriend I think it would have been a pretty rough experience my what is it fourth tip my fourth tip has to be um, it really pays off to um, be welcoming at your booth um, should you should clients be interested in your product it really pays off to welcome them and to talk about your art and to talk about what inspired you and to talk to them about the things that you use to make your art or whatever it is that you specialize in and just inform them um, a little bit so that they can feel a little bit more engaged in your art when they're trying to decide if they want to make a purchase with it so welcome them into your space 
give them information about it and just overall help them get to know you a little bit better. My next tip, the fifth one, has to be uh, definitely get to know the vendors next to you if you want to get if you want to get into a vendor shop it really helps um, the first night that I was setting up there I, we didn't have a chance to set up our tent at our house because our backyard is too small so we had to wait until the night before to set up the tent for the first time and um, I am small so I wasn't of any help to my boyfriend when he was setting up the tent but fortunately the vendor next to me who specialized in pottery he was just amazing and he saw that my boyfriend was kind of on his own and so um, he came over and he helped us out and um, it was really nice and throughout the whole time he was checking up on us and asking how everything was going and whenever there were down times where people weren't coming um, he would come over and he would just talk to us and um, he helped us close down too on the day that it was time to close and it's just it, it really is a really nice gesture when you're a part of a community and everyone is so helpful and everyone is so inviting and um, I think that really it really inspired me to kind of return the gesture to not only the people that are in those art shows but also outside of the art shows whether it's in day-to-day -day routines um, at work at home it just really is a great way to to kind of appreciate helping out and um, I think that's the one thing that I can take away from these art shows is that it really inspired me to help out more because I truly, truly was grateful for the help that I received from the vendors closest to me. And um, it's, it's a wonderful experience that I think everyone should give a try. And um, I think that it sums up about all the things that I have to say about the art show. Um, I learned to be grateful, to be kind, to be courteous to the people that are interested into your art. When people give you suggestions, never take it personally, but think of it as a business um, idea, something that could help you grow, your business grow, help you become a better person. Um, go with the flow of things, never stress out too much, and just always understand that everything will work out for the better if you just always come from a place of understanding and from being open-minded to anything because often at times when we're stressed we're being very closed-minded and we think the worst is going to happen so if we open ourselves up and we don't stress about anything things can really turn out for the better give it some thoughts guys i will definitely link all the websites in the description below for you guys if you're interested um, i think it's a wonderful way to get yourself out there and your name and what you have to offer and it really helped boost my confidence as a artist before that I can definitely say that I wasn't as confident in my art um, and seeing how many people were really in, really inspired by my colorful animal art prints um, it really left me feeling great so it could be life changing for you guys as well so I hope you guys enjoy this video thank you so much for all your love and support it was a wonderful weekend I'm really happy that I pushed myself to get through and I encourage you guys to do the same I'll see you soon bye